Are you? Uh, I know you're Sam Sheedy's partner. Are you getting married? Sam Sheedy, you'll have to ask him. Right. Is he making a comeback? Um, you'll have to ask him. No, um, I don't think so. He's helping out with Tommy and stuff and he's getting his Alright then, mate. No problem. He's helping with kids. Is so John Phil's making a comeback? I doubt that very much. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, Alan. Yeah, we are. What are you trying to say? Yeah. Daddy, I'm yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a bit of speed. Speed is having it, this is. Hey? She's too good for it. I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're joined by Lee Edwards. Are you making a comeback, Lee? You can get talking later. Like, no, we're we'll going back here. Lee Edwards got many comeback. Right then. Thank you, Paul. No problem. Good luck with your little boy. Thank you very much. And, uh, he's a beautiful. He is. I'm glad that you're all happy. God bless. Thank you. you take care. Bye bye. Old Charlie fucking Giles there. Hey? <laughs> oh Martin, oh Martin, <laughs> oh old Martin, eh? Lumbered with taking Charlie Giles from casino back to hotel, probably via a brothel, because that's what you're getting it with people in the boxing industry, like Charlie Giles. He's one of the chaps, isn't he, Charlie? Oh, look, that's better. So, other than that, I've enjoyed myself. I think one glass of alcohol. I'm sat here in a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. My shirt tonight was soaking it with that hot. But, turn that off. But other than that, I'm all right. I uh, enjoyed myself. Oops. Inspiration or, or, or many ideas, maybe I'm just not creative enough, mm -hmm. but I'm not. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, Tommy Frank won tonight, I thought he got beat. Uh, but I'm glad he won, it makes my job a lot easier. Uh, Makes it very easy, in fact, but I thought he got beat, but not by a lot. But it's just how I viewed the fight from a certain angle. There were a couple of referees I was stood with, they had him losing. A couple of trainers had him losing. Dennis had him winning. But I'm almost going to tell the truth, I had him losing. But I'm glad that he won. But that's boxing, isn't it? Uh... Right, start now for some look. Last destinations. The route is being calculated. 23 mile. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Uh, right. Uh, nice to go in a casino, innit, and not give them any of your money. But I'm just glad that all our lads won tonight and it's it's gone alright. I mean, it's not. Boxing's an hard enough sport as it is. Some people sent me some text messages saying Josh Wales in a bum in a bum fight. But let me tell you this, all right? That kid want a bum. People were saying Tommy Frank were in a bum fight. That kid had had 65 Muay Thai fights, and that were a life and death for Tommy Frank. And do you know what? Now turn right. That'll bring Tommy Frank on like you can never imagine. That will bring him on like you can never, ever, ever imagine so please keep right in 300 yards and then turn right so look at this here women walking about with outfits on like this and uh how they don't get freezing women i don't know doing this but i don't know it feels a bit odd for me to be Leaving a casino at four four o'clock in the morning. I mean, look at the time here. Three forty-two. Sober as a judge. What's going on here? What's happened to me? 
losing uh, plot. Now keep right. I've lost plot, I know. Yeah, I've definitely lost the plot. I'll get on that M18 and I'll get home. Now turn right and then keep left. But uh, Tyro Nurse won. I said he'd win on points and he did. I thought Tommy had knocked that guy out, he didn't, he went to 12 rounds, thought he got beat, but I'm glad he won. And I'll tell Tommy that to his face when I see him in week. People can say, well, it could have gone either way. Listen, when people start saying it could have gone either way, it means he got beat. We have to talk about it and be honest. People might not like what I've just said there, and I have thought about it. But that's why I didn't stick a camera in his face after, but I just thought he got beat. I've interviewed Dennis a couple of times on it, one of them I'm going to have to delete, but... Because you can end up arguing, no, can't you, or left. having difference of opinions. It's a fight, he got the decision. There'll be fights down the line where Tommy Frank wins and he don't get the decision. It's boxing, isn't it? Get over it. It's an opinion. But I thought he got beat. I thought Sham Sam Sheedy beat Langford, he didn't get the decision. But Sam still gives Langford respect. You move on, don't you? It's raw at the beginning, isn't it? I'm going to watch it again tomorrow, but it's a boxing fight, isn't it? It's a boxing Please fight. Take the fourth exit at the so that's better, isn't it? A61. So, other than that, I'm alright. It uh, feels a bit odd for me to be going home. <laughs> but I work my ass off in there tonight. I've got to get my suit dry clean, my shirt put in washer. But like I said, it is what it is, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? But uh, good luck to Tommy. I hope he capitalises on it. But it was nice to see people drinking champagne and celebrating. Good, because they're not the ones in the ring, are they? But like I said, it's boxing, isn't it? We've all got opinions, haven't we? Opinions vary. Funny, isn't it? You know when you you don't get drunk and you see cop cars parked all over the place. One there, now one there. Exit the roundabout. They don't even want to pull you, do they? When you're sober, when you've had about Please four pints. In 300 yards, at the end of the when road, you've had onto the A57. Shut up. When you've had four pints and you're borderline, oh, that's when they appear, isn't it? It's the man upstairs telling you, isn't it? But we're nice to see. JD and Sean and them tonight in there, and uh, but like I said, when all said and done, it's boxing, isn't it? Go on then, mate. What are you doing? Other than that, I enjoyed it. It was nice to see Kane Salvin win. So Kane won, Tommy won, Tyrone won, and Josh Whale won. I thought Josh Wales was the more conclusive. He won every single round. When it was 4 0, I went and spoke to his brother, Gwyn, and I said, Gwyn, no, nobody's cheering or anything. What, what's going on here? It's, it's dead. You know, nobody was, nobody, I don't know, there was no noise, it was no atmosphere. I said, if this goes to cards, we need to G it up a bit. When just said, hey, what's that on about, man? He's won every round. But I just, I think you need to have every little bit of, every, every base, every corner covered, don't you? And if fans aren't cheering in the close rounds, I'm not saying they were close rounds, but I just don't like things to go to scorecards, me. Not at all. But, so... Charlie Giles there, staggering into Dennis's beamer. Oh, Martin, got to take him home. <laughs> I used to be lumbered with them jobs, you know. Well, I don't, I don't envy you, Martin. Driving a big fancy brand new car like that. Well, I used to have to do that. Other snakes passed to airport. Good luck, Martin. So I think I've moved on from that, but you know, so. Oh, well. Get this aircon off. But other than that, I'm alright. So. So, all in all, 
all it would have successed the show and there's more people on board now than ever and like I said all the people around me that I've got Rico his mate Terry a few other people we pick all the brains and when you pick people's brains you can get things going can't you in boxing industry and I just think that it's, there's a turning point now I think there's a turning point and uh, I think that there's some big things planned and I've just heard a corker of a signing and uh, I'd love to mention it on channel now actually but I don't uh, think it'll go down well if I let Cat out bag because sometimes you can get excited and make mistakes uh, and there's people in the boxing industry that watch my channel and, and you know who you are but they can have the little victories every now and then but I can assure you of this that there's people around me that are smarter than the average bear let me tell you they've been there seen it done it so this is how I look at it if you want to come and take us on take us on because we're stronger than ever now and there's going to be a few people surprised in next two years there's going to be a few people that are going to be surprised and all them people that say Porky you're a rubbing rag you're Dennis's rubbing rag you wash his car yeah I've took it car wash I didn't do that though I just drove through it yeah you put petrol in yeah I've done that you've made a cup of tea I've made tea but also he's put petrol in my car, I had to get car washing, he's made me a coffee. So look, it's banter in it. So what? If I'm making a cup of tea, I'll make anybody one, Nicola one, anybody. If you've got good people around you, you can achieve anything, can't you? In anything. Any walk of life. But do you know what I've learned tonight more than anything? That I don't have to go out and spend 200 quid on alcohol buying everybody drinks. And Henry the Eighth, a Charlie. I don't need to go out. Two hundred quid on coke, eighty quid on taxes, and an Henry. Do you know what I mean? What's that? Five hundred quid, and you've had no to eat, and you've done a and you've done a monkey in. I don't need to do that. You know, I could just sit there and look at everybody else steaming drunk. We aren't there having to worry about what I'm going to do, carrying off and being a prat. I'm having to sit there and babysit them. But uh, here's what it is, isn't it? But uh, last time I come up here, after last time I come up here not long ago, I come up here right, and I give it some all the way down here. And I thought I got a speeding ticket, but I must have braked before. Before, but uh, no luck. But other than that, I'm all right. Enjoyed it, enjoyed that show, it was proper all action. Anybody who watched that show tonight on Free Sports, they had good value. Anybody who watched that tonight had good value for, for the money. Let me tell you, they're proper, proper good value. They had a, you know, uh, so I don't know what Dennis is going to do tomorrow with FA Cup match at Matlock. He's invited. He's invited about 40 people. Michelle, if you're watching this, you'll be howling. He's invited about 40 people and they've all said, yeah. Where's he going to sit him? <laughs> oh, he'll be roaring tomorrow if everybody turns up, saying the guests. Football's not like boxing, is it? Get that off. Yeah. yeah, so, a good day was had by all. I did have a load of questions that I wanted to go through and do you know what? I feel like uh, just doing some boxing stuff so what I might do I might get home is that better? that's better isn't it? I might just get home and finish off them questions and then it's done isn't it? and I can have tomorrow off then I think I might do that just put seat back it's in cruise control and just do them questions when I get in just get it out of the way and it's done. But there'll be some surprise people. 
me rolling in it. Probably quarter past four, sober as a judge. What's, what is the world coming to, Porky? What is the world coming to when the porkster is going home sober? You know, I'm secretly fucking raging as well. Raging. People going like that in front of me with the drinks. <sighs> it's nice that Porky. What do you what are you alright there, Porky? With that latte? I'm like, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's mega. One small tiny glass of wine. Jesus. One glass of wine, man. Unbelievable. And the rumour going around that I had a couple of double vodkas is nonsense. But yeah, I'm raging watching people having a good time when I'm sat there sober. That's when you realise you've got a problem, isn't it, with drink and drugs. And do you know somebody actually give me right, a bag of coke? So yeah, Porky, go treat yourself. And he put it in my hand, and I was like. I never handed it back to him and I thought, what am I doing here? And I opened it. It was fucking empty. And I thought, thank God. Give me back, says he, you piss takers. That's taking piss, that, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'd probably do the same one after you were one of my mates if I were off my trolley. So, quite proud of my son, actually. So, I got a drug test on 24th. And it's still being system. Uh, but yeah, and them lumps on my head are going down, so it's all good positive stuff in it, I suppose. But I swear to God, it killed me not getting out of my head in that. It killed me. Uh, what can you do? It killed me. I'm looking about in shorts here, sober as a judge. Ooh. I feel like ripping it up when I go in. What can you do? What can you do to get off at get off at Warmers before Elibis? So get off here. So I enjoyed it. Sorry about it going dark, but I don't like driving with lights on when I'm driving down lanes. So you'll have to talk. It's better. You, I could talk to you now in dark rather than. Is that better? That bit better. See me double glazing glasses, can't you? <laughs> better than me. Uh, better. Than, it's better than me putting the old uh, porky uh, advertise with us thing up, isn't it? You can look at my ugly mug. Porky driving on 4 a.m. Gone 4 a.m. Driving on here, sober. You know what? I am bound to get pulled in. I will love it if I get pulled down here. Now, love it. Come on, pull me, I'm sober. Normally, I swear to God, when I'm coming back from up that end, normally I am like that. I am driving like that with my eyeballs stuck to that mirror. Like that, with sport button on, ready to just take a chase. But, ready to do a Chevy chase. But, no. I asked Tommy Frank when I take it when he sees me next week, and I said, Tommy, I thought you got beat. How's he going to take that? Tommy's a company man, isn't he? He'll say, well, that's your opinion, Russ. How will Glyn take it? Will we still be mates? Well, we'll find out on Monday or Tuesday, won't we, next week, when I say, look, I thought he got done. I did, I thought he got done. I thought that other kid were unlucky and he had a lot of supporters as well who were living in London that come to watch him, Thai people, but I just thought he got done. And when I see people that I've known years saying, could have gone either way, that's a load of knackers. That's a get out because they don't want to say it. At least I said it to Dennis's face. Then he said, like, You trying to draw controversy? No. Thought he got done. And I want only one. I'm not going to kiss ass. I like Tommy, don't I? I've bigged him up for ages. And I think they should take the Sonny uh, Edwards fight now. Because he's just had a 12 round. The Sonny's not had a 12 rounder like that. He's got it out of his system. And he might beat Sonny now he's got that under his belt, but I thought he got done. And it's one of them things, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? It's just, it's just how it is, isn't it? 
that's just how it is. So, what can you do? What can you do? It's uh, it's an hard sport, and it? it's one of the hardest sports in the world, man. And there has to be a victor, and there has to be a loser, and only them people who understand that. People in somebody's team, aren't they? People like John Fuchs, Glyn Rhodes, Sam Sheedy. They've been there as professional fighters, aren't they? They understand what it takes, don't they? I don't, do I? Because I've not been there, have I? I've not boxed. So... I've not boxed, have I? So I don't understand, do I? I'll go this way, yeah. I'll go this way. I'll give you a bit... We'll give you a different view, eh? I'm being followed. I'm not bothered, I'm sober. <whistles> Foggy, isn't it, tonight? Look at that, well, let's put fog lights on it. Only thing is, I don't know how to fucking work them. Where's my fog light button? <laughs> with free sports TV tonight actually but uh, I don't know if they got it on at end to be honest but what I did get as I, I got an interview with Kevin Sanders a part one and a part two but and we touched on some good stuff and he's he's good uh, Kevin is good good company actually uh, I think him and Charlie Giles were knocking some very large drinks back. Old Charlie Giles for 75 is some boy, him and it. <laughs> Charlie Giles were on the sauce with me and Dennis Friday after weighing. And he's on the sauce today. Till 4 a.m. What a boy. I hope I'm like that when I'm 75. Old Charlie, make sure it's a green slice of slice of lime in my uh, double uh, Double the G and T, uh, Russ. Make sure it's got a slice of lime in it, Porky. Oh, Charlie Giles! What a geezer Charlie Giles is. Seventy-five year old. He's like that man. That's brilliant. Cop car there. Look at that. Didn't even pull me. I don't know. Let's open it up down here. Eh? This is for all them boy racers. Like me to go to 60. Hell, it's foggy, isn't it? I don't know how to work fog lights. Well, I tell you what, well, I think I'm speeding through here. So, well, I hope Tommy's alright. I hope Tommy Frank's okay. Hello. Go. Home now, so get this up Nicola quick as you can with all them others tomorrow. Uh, do you know I did an interview with a young kid tonight, right? And uh, he's from Sheffield Boxing Centre. He's called Crusher. <laughs> what a character. Go on, Crusher. Team Crush. It's nice when somebody approaches you like that. And uh, says he watches your channel. A young kid there watching channel, eh? Ah, brilliant, eh? He's about the purest thing that we're in there tonight, and most honest, should I say. Because let's have it right, we all know what boxing is, don't we? When all said and done, we all know about all them after parties, don't we? We're all them people are backslapping you. Chris Smedley warned me about that years ago. And he never goes to Chris, he never goes to him because he's just a spit and sawdust trainer. And uh, I see, I see what it, I see what it, it we're on about now, and I can understand now the the mechanisms of boxing. You know, as I've sat there tonight sober, watching what goes on, <laughs> an horrible sport, isn't it? Horrible. But so, 
one of them sports isn't it so peace out keep on trucking shout out to climber cool there'll be an Hilton now tucked up in bed <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna be now so there you go